Hey everybody, today we're gonna review the Tozo TA the Bluetooth headset. I wanted a dual side headset that was wireless and this fit the bill, it was inexpensive and it looked okay. So I wanted to check it out and see how it goes. So let's open this up and see what's inside. So inside you'll find a USB cord, and this is your typical micro USB. This is a charging case, I believe. There's a USB connector here. It's sealed at the top, and you press this button here, and it should pop open. And you'll see that it's kind of clear almost. You can barely see through this. And this is where the Bluetooth headset goes in to charge, and it fits perfectly fine. And it doesn't click or anything, but it stays in there. Oh, to a certain extent. Um, yeah. Let's put it in. And then you can close it, and then there it goes. So to charge it, you would basically plug in the USB to here. And it seems like there's some battery in here, so I'm going to check out the headset right away. Um... The light is on inside. You can barely tell through the reflection, but there is some light in there. And it's red. Don't know what that means yet. Maybe it's not charged. But let's open this up. Clips open. And it's blinking. So the light's turning on blue and red. I don't know necessarily what that means. I think this means that it's trying to pair something, so I'm gonna pause this video and try to pair with my iPhone X. So I paired these headphones to my iPhone X and they work pretty fine. Um, each side has, a, it tells you L or R on each side. Inside there's the two divots there so you can actually charge it in this area here. The, each side is, is a button, so you'll notice that there's divots in there, and they function differently. So these headphones look pretty good for what it is. They have a red trim, so it looks pretty good. And in off mode, you press and hold the button to turn it on for three seconds. Well, you hold it on for three seconds and turn it on. And when it's on, you press and hold the button for five seconds to turn it off. So the base, you can charge itself, so you can charge the headphones without being connected. So the base could be charged for a brief amount of time. So you can charge your headphones and charge your headphones separately elsewhere without having the base connected. So the headphones do have a mic on here and it's really small so you can barely see, but it does work and it works fine. And you can eject the phone call by pressing the button on the right side and holding it for two seconds to reject it. To answer, you would just click it once. Yeah, the instructions don't tell you very much. Um, it seems all right. The pairing was really easy, but just the maneuverability of how the things are used, it doesn't tell you much. It just says MFB to play. And yeah, it's not a really good instruction manual. So I'm gonna use it for a little bit and see how it goes. Okay, so after charging it and using it a few times, I got some of the functionality down. So while charging this headset or headphones, there's a red light. Once it's done charging, the red light on the side will be done uh, or gone, that is. 
So I used it for about two and a half hours until the earphones told me that the battery is running low. So I would say this lasts around almost three hours, brand new. Um, I didn't use it consecutive, consecutively, meaning continuously playing music. I was playing a podcast and it was just playing those type of music or sounds. So it was not like continuous. The side of the earpiece does blink red or blue depending on which side it is. You only need to connect one of the earpieces and then the other piece, that piece will connect to the other piece. I believe that if you connect the right piece, it automatically connects to the left. But if you connect, if you want to just use one piece, you can, and that's possible, because each Bluetooth side does connect to your ear or your Bluetooth, so you don't have to have both of them to to work. But when you use the right one, it automatically connects to the left one, which is nice. It tells you right when you turn it on, looking for a headphone connected to the other side, and they both blink or sound. So make sure that you press the button and turn it on. It turns on really fast. Overall, the sound is good. It's not super loud, so don't expect it to be bumping and jumping, but it's loud enough to hear when you're in a gym. It does block out some of the noise through ins the installation and the, the amount of space in your ear. They aren't that big. Um, they're big enough for my earlobes and places over like the, the central canal so it doesn't come off when you're working out or whatnot. So it does fit well and it doesn't it doesn't feel like it's it's gonna come off. So I was I wasn't running but I was lifting weights. So I haven't tried running in these. So that might be an issue for some if it does come out. But it didn't seem like it was going to come out. And it felt firm when you wore these. Just keep in mind that there is a left and right piece and make sure that you turn on the right and left piece at the same time. And make sure that you connect the right piece via Bluetooth first so that you won't get confused. It makes it easier that way. Overall, I think these are great headphones for what it is. They're not really expensive and that's why I think these are great. They work really well. I like wearing these. I don't have any issues wearing these with a hoodie or a hat didn't bother at me at all um, and I like how it's placed in this charging case because when I have other earphones that are small I tend to lose them and this one I like that you won't lose them because you have a case to carry them with and it lasts pretty long and the case charges the headphones and they sound good they look fine or pretty good for what it is and they're inexpensive that's the biggest piece of this is inexpensive headphones that work well and sound good. So definitely recommend it. I hope you like this review and thanks for watching.